The Boise State, Venture College, and Trailhead present highlights from the Survive to Thrive series. So creating connection really comes first. We are wired for connection. Um, if people are stressed and nervous and don't know what to do, it's very hard for them to access sort of their rational brains and do their best thinking. So in this time, creating connection with your team, with your organization, no matter how large it is, is really important. And you as the leader are the one who are gonna be looking for. So you can ask yourself, you know, am I visible, available, and present for the people involved? At this time, I think what I'm seeing people really searching for, kind of Maslow's hierarchy, is information. Is my job safe? Um, what's our customer base looking like? Uh, uh, are we gonna do a furlough? Are we gonna do a layoff? How do I apply for unemployment? So the more transparent communication you can have in this quickly evolving daily uh, world of work, um, obviously the better. Yeah, you don't want to start an application through, you know, the SBA has their disaster loan application that's up right now. Um, you know, you apply for that, you get to ahead of the game and then you realize, holy cow, I applied for the wrong loan. It's not part of this new stimulus package. I, what, I can't get this forgiven. And then you're kind of in this boat where you're like, this is not the route I want it to go. And, um, you know, for us internally, we've been sending out almost daily communications to our clients, just really urging them, you know, contact us before you do anything. Um, so we can kind of guide you through this and really, really give you that guidance on the best practice for your business, so. I think you can never miss with vulnerability of the truth that you have at the moment. So if that means that you send out a, like Taylor said, you know, you're sending out a daily message with the new information you have. And so you can say for the next 24 hours, this is what we're working with. And the next day you get to say, guess what? Something happened for the next 24 hours. Here's the new factor. We'll talk to you again in 25. <laughs> your brain cannot be in fear or in curiosity at the same time. So very, very simple hack if you're trying as a leader to figure out how to dampen the fear is to ask a question and ask everyone else to bring a question to your daily huddle. What question can you ask right now? It will pivot your brain out of the fear zone because it's not possible to do both at the same time. Biologically, not possible. You will be lighting up the hormones you need to get through it and to create the hope that Lori just talked about. When you're on that normal trail, there is a routine. And, and human beings, we really do like routine and consistency. So even though we're now off the trail and we're somewhere new, you can still be creating routine and consistency and predictability even in that context. So even if it's a daily morning huddle, even if it's assignments we get in the morning, even if it's checking in, whatever that is, that would be sort of my first recommendation is to spend some time thinking about what are the new routines, habits, expectations that I want to have in place and have I communicated those things clearly. So as you, as you take uh, and fill the space that anxiety might be filling with action and collaboration from your team and getting them focused and trying to create a shared fate of what you're trying to do for that day or that week. Um, I think you have an opportunity to, to more quickly um, get back to, I won't say the normal, but at least into a rhythm. Uh, what the new rhythm, what the new cadence looks like um, in, in this world. Thanks for listening. While you're waiting for the next episode, feel free to contact us or follow us on social media.